in regards to lamenting the Holy Ghost. You know, he, he, he did really deep in the Holy Ghost and he sent an call and he started to give his prophecies out. He, he says to me that, I remember it was time for one of them, Thanksgiving table, but she was contemplating about, you know, because of the whole COVID situation, she was wondering if she should still go ahead with the table. You know, but the chief was really deep and he said, very cool, come. This is from one of them and he laid it out and he said, listen, tell one of them that it doesn't matter what is the situation. If it is the last she has within her account, do the table. I know when he speak to me, what is going to happen. He's not going to miss. So I said, moment, I same time I get my phone and I start to record everything. I said, Mom, listen, wherever it said you have to do the table. It's not that if not a maybe, it is a must. And, she said, and he said, also, I should tell my sister, she's smooching, to do her part in the table. Do whatsoever she can, put everything that she can in this table. And Reggie, he said also, if we don't do this table, we're going to have funeral. And I'm telling you, around two weeks after that, my little nephew, which is Nicholas, my little grandson, a young man with a shovel and hit him across his head side. He did not die. In the process of preparing for the table, you know, that incident happened. After the table, you now the table had not passed, I said, my little niece, you know, you know when they come big and they think that they have arrived, they choose to do stuff and she feel like no one is giving her love and attention. But she has segregated herself from who she's supposed to be with. So we cannot force up on her because she thinks that she's arrived now. And I'm telling you, she went and she paid 11 pills. And she did not die. If one of them did not obedient and do that table, and if Muchi her did not even put her part on that table, we would keep funeral after funeral today. It's not that most you make it, and the boy is alright. She found out the hospital, everything is alright, everything is back to normal. Thank God for the prophet. Thank God for the obedience to the prophet. If you have a testimony, come and give it so that God can open up the windows of heaven and pour down the prophecy on your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord and I will tell you. First, I must pray the Holy Spirit with the love of my life to my apostle. From the rest of to the few, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but I'm going to say it. I was home this morning. I have some people who I talk to them, but I don't go to their yard. And I can this morning while I was preparing dinner before I come to church, one of the ladies asked me, can I get some of your dinner? It's not the first she asked me. But I said, I'm not giving you, because I know them. So, he said, I'm not giving you. He said, I want some of dinner. So I cooked the dinner. And when I cooked the dinner, I called her. He said, you want the dinner? He said, yes. So, sir, I put in one clear plastic with my cup of and He said, here's the dinner. My husband said to me, what if she throw it away? He said, no, me no business if you want to throw it away. She asked me for the dinner, and I gave her the dinner. When I gave her the dinner, she said, if I should return the plastic, we say, you don't have to return it. Whenever you want again, bring the same plastic. I just want to say, being here is a blessing. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of the family of God. And my aim is to continue. Thank you, Jesus.
comes on deliverance, Jesus comes. Night and day, me can't sleep. Night and day, me can't sleep. I'm preaching. When we do come to bed, we preach and say, me and one day, me go by you. When we look this one, we decide that we are under me. And then we look go by you, so we see me a pastor. Like him a pastor, and when he look, when he look, we see me a pastor, we cross one and see me. And then some of me a pastor, a, 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 a look cross up. And like him a call, and he said, me me a pastor, and he said, yes, you need a nice wall, come here. And me a tell me, Virgil, when time me a pastor talk to me, he, he said, he said, what you are praying for, it might be taken on what is coming. Yeah. And Virginia tell you, we get an easy you now. We get an easy. And anyhow, you know, see this man of God in your vision. You know, worship yet. Can you come and go to yard, you know? Yeah. If you yard, no son, people, you know, see me a pastor. And don't show me a lot, you know.
and that he said to me, if I met and he was nice and my short, I would never talk again. Anyway, it continued and it continued and it continued. Every year I would watch a song and I would do blood tests and do all kinds of things on my throat. And I remember last year I decided to cut the flesh off of my throat. Which every time I went, they said as it's flesh, flesh, flesh. The doctor said to me, um, if we need to move the flesh, I can remove it. And uh, I said them, um, the appointment, I made the appointment is to move the flesh. And uh, I came and I sit down there. Um, Daddy said to me, no, Daddy said to mommy, mommy must come and anoint my throat. And Daddy said to me, sister, I tell you, if you cut that flesh, you're not going to talk again. And mommy come and she rub my throat. And daddy said to me, um, when I go back to doctor, doctor said that I'm going to give me some antibiotic, which is the infection I have in my throat. I go back to doctor the Monday, when I go back to doctor the Monday, doctor gave me some antibiotic and said to me, as the ultra show said, it is um, flesh, it's not it. And daddy said to me, I must have got it because I'm not going to talk again. Believe you me, I don't go back to that appointment and I don't cut my children because I want to continue to talk. I want to continue to worship him. And I want to continue to bless the name of Jesus. No care where the situation may be for me. I'm going to continue to bless him and hold on to his ends of his garment. Brethren, let me tell you something. You is my family. You secret heart members is my families. So if you don't take me for families, remember me. Always take you guys for families. I always take secret members for my families. So let me tell you something. You see what me? Just pray for me. Because I am at home crying, crying, and crying. But one more thing, friends. Daddy, I love you dear to my heart. You don't left what I'm in house. You don't left what I'm in house. My fridge, just a minute, please. My daughter bought a fridge. Me take my fridge up my house. You know, Daddy, I take my fridge up my house. Now, my room, which I have a deep freeze mindset. So we have a feed stand in the fridge. The fridge is like beer. The fridge is like beer. I put my bed beer. That means anything I want, you have to just come up from bed and take that fridge. One morning, when I'm sleeping, you know, I'm not sleep. They say two properties are over the fridge, which they are not there. No properties are not there. But in my sight, there is two properties. A woman, fat, short, fat, properties are. And a tall man is here. And I mean, I said, but when I sleep, I need to put this at their side. And the man one said, said to the woman one said, no worry yourself for you, me and guy. They have my upper picture and my dresser right here. I had one on the left, which is my daughter in prayer one one time. And me gave me, they said, make sure you don't come from school and fix it up. And she take it, and she got fix it, and she carry it back. And she said to me, see, let me put it up. I said, thank you, ma'am. And all the blues I hear that if I said, don't worry, sister. Everything gonna be okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna open my eye. I wanna open my eye and I look up. I say, some you know say nobody, so I'm gonna say oh, this and so I go. But I wasn't sleeping. There's no time I wasn't sleeping. And then this in at the same time, uh, my father died, my mother died, my sister died, and my uncle died. All four of them in the room. And then I heard that he said, No one gonna trouble this sister. I'm gonna cover her and the blood of Jesus. And I see that he had to come going like that. And I open my eye and get up. Daddy, I love you so much. God bless you.